Here's a list of bank robbers that went viral thanks to their crazy disguises. Number one, the too tall bandit. Towering at six foot eight, this extra large bank robber was dubbed by the FBI as the too tall bandit thanks to his enormous height. His first known robbery took place in 2009, and he has robbed at least 16 different banks over the span of 11 years across Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina, usually targeting banks in rural areas. The Too Tall Bandit always wears a hooded heavy coat and rotates his disguises, sometimes wearing a camouflage full face covering, other times a terrifying Halloween skull mask similar to the one worn by Ben Affleck in the classic bank high thriller the town he also has a distinctive limp in his right leg when he walks he has been known to be extremely aggressive with bank employees often yelling at them while he brandishes a pistol because of this he is considered to be extremely dangerous one particularly unusual fact about the too tall bandit his most recent bank robbery came 11 years to the minute from his first robbery same exact day time and style the authorities still have no idea about his real identity and they are currently offering a fifteen thousand dollar reward for any information leading to an arrest number two the Big Shades Bandit. This shady criminal has been dubbed by the FBI as the Big Shades Bandit for the distinctive large sunglasses he wears during his robberies. According to the FBI Violent Crime Task Force, the Big Shades Bandit walked into a first convenience bank located inside a Fiesta Mart grocery store in Houston on June 29, 2022. He then went to an open teller station and handed the teller a note that demanded cash and threatened her with a handgun. After the teller complied, officials with the FBI said the suspect left the bank with an undisclosed amount of money and was seen running into a nearby wooded area. FBI officials released surveillance photos of the Big Shades Bandit in hopes that someone will recognize him, and there is currently a $5,000 reward for information leading to the identification, charging, or arrest of the suspect in this case. Number 3. The Glamour Shot Bandit 19-year-old Brianna Cassius, aka the Glamour Shot Bandit, doesn't fit the description of your average bank robber. The 5'2 teen got her name because of her flamboyant disguises. At different times, she wore a blonde wig, a black and white striped scarf with a sun hat, large sunglasses, a white head covering, waxed or manicured eyebrows, and a choker to cover her neck tattoo. Cassius also wore white latex gloves during each robbery never spoke to any bank tellers. She simply would pass them a note that read, please give me hundreds, fifties, and twenties. She would then brandish a handgun to intimidate the tellers. In total, she robbed eight banks in the Denver area, including three in one day, getting away with nearly $17,000 in cash. A reward of $2,000 was offered, and she was caught when a bank teller from the first robbery identified her from a photo lineup. She was charged with aggravated robbery, five counts of robbery, two counts of attempted robbery, along with menacing, theft, and tampering with evidence. She pled guilty shortly after her arrest. Number four, the Empire Strikes Banks. This bank robber fell to the dark side when he decided to rob a bank in North Carolina in 2015. But instead of using a lightsaber, this crook used a bolt-action shotgun to commit his crime. He didn't have much time to enjoy the spoils of his heist, though. Only three and a half hours later, police pulled over the thief who was driving a stolen vehicle. And when they searched the car, they found the shotgun used in the robbery along with the Darth Vader mask. But he wasn't the first Vader to hit a bank. Another bank robber dressed as Darth Vader hit a Chase Bank in Long Island in 2010 using a pistol. And number five, the lifelike lookalike. Our last crook used a human-like face mask that was so realistic it caused police to briefly arrest an innocent man who resembled the mask. Conrad Zadariak, who is white, used a mask resembling a black male to rob six banks in Ohio in November 2010. The $700 mask was purchased from a Hollywood special effects company in California. In fact, the mask was so realistic looking that even the mother of the wrongly accused man who police originally arrested thought a photo of the robbery suspect was actually a photo of her son. The real thief was finally caught when his own girlfriend called the police after she saw reports of the robberies and found two masks and money stained by dye that is used to track robbers. Conrad pleaded guilty to all six robberies and was sentenced to 25 years behind bars.